Journalists Association and a long-time Westminster journalist. George, what did you make of that? It was an extraordinary scene. Well, it was, and of course, when we got there, bright sunshine and the two leaders came out in bright sunshine. Now it looks as if we're going to get a rain shower, so... Uh, I'm, just, that's I'm just going to that. interrupt you there because we've got Chris Hune, who we are expecting to be the Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change, going in there to Downing Street to hear the news of his appointment. We expect that to be confirmed then. He was looking very pleased on the way in, so it looks like he's pleased with whatever job he has got in the Cabinet. But to return to what you were saying, George, amazing pictures. Amazing pictures. Uh, one of your colleagues said it was something like a love in the two of them there, and I heard somebody say it was a bit like a sort of gay wedding in California with these two <laughs> kind of coming out. Uh, the choreography is good. I mean, these two men clearly have decided they want to work together in the body language, the way uh, they defer to each other. And David Cameron even admitting at one point, you know, that his favourite joke had been two words, Nick Clegg, owning up to it and almost sort of apologising for it. So, I mean, I think really they, the two of them, wanted to work. They're sending out a really strong signal. Now, I mean, these are the honeymoon days. I mean, Book is already taking off bets that it'll collapse within a year. But they want to make it work, and I think they genuinely believe that. What about their parties, though? Because it's not just about the two men, is it? No, well, their answer to that is, if we can show it's working, if we can show we, the two of us can work together, that the Lib Dems, like Chris Hune, sitting in a Tory Lib Dem coalition, can work together, then the parties themselves will back it. The public will be impressed. I'm just going to show us some pictures now. This is Jeremy Hunt, who we expect is very likely to be announced as Dep Secretary of State for Culture, Media and Sport. Give us a little smile, a bit of a nod there, perhaps confirming that that is actually going to be his job. I'd be surprised if it was not. But just to return to what you were saying, George, backbench Tory MPs, some of them really wanted Cameron to go it alone. They didn't want to well, see him there almost holding hands with Nick Clegg. And, and David Cameron said, you know, he thought of that, but he said when the two of them sat down together they thought you know this didn't wouldn't really work they wouldn't be able to achieve what they wanted and for David Cameron I mean I think that would have collapsed it really would have collapsed in six months or a year's time it would have been a pretty miserable experience as a prime minister I think the two of them think they really can do things together I mean it is uncharted waters the cynics are out there in force I mean and those of us who watched these politicians as they as Nick Clegg said I mean a week ago they were rivals at each other's throats. Now they're trying to be colleagues together, but, you know, give it a go. And I think those two men are determined to give it a go despite all, you know, the, the carping and criticism that there will be. And there will be. There will be people falling out in the parties. Tory Euro skeptics, what on earth are they going to say, you know, joined up with a party which would like to join the Euro, even though they've agreed that they won't do it for this parliament? I'm just going to show us some pictures. I think we can see... Oh, that's Patrick McLaughlin, who's the chief whip, who is just going in. He's been sc scuttling backwards yeah. and forwards, and I think the list in his hand is perhaps the list of all the Cabinet jobs, so wouldn't it be nice if we could just get that from him? So we He's will be expecting... Tough, he's got a tough well, job. Well, I was going to say, so it'll be his job to keep order in the Conservative yeah. Party and persuade them to be silent? Well, they're not going to be silent. There are going to be divisions. There are going to be arguments. Uh, but in the end, it'll be up to David Cameron and Nick Clegg to show that it can work. I mean, that's probably, good. well, I was going to say, will it be a 100-day honeymoon? There'll probably be a 50-day honeymoon because we're going to get this budget within 50 days. Well, that's the plan. Tough decisions being taken. But, you know, for the Conservatives, they've been 13 years in opposition. They now have not all the patronage, but some of the patronage. They'll be back on those government benches. And, of course, don't forget equally, all the parties have a lot of new MPs. There's still some members of the old guard, the awkward squad there, but there are a lot of new MPs, a new generation, who may be more prepared to make this work than, say, if you've got the MPs who were all the MPs who were there in the last parliament. OK, George Jones, thank you very much indeed for sharing your experience with us. Now, I am now hearing we can confirm that Eric Pickles, who has been the bumptious chairman of the Tory party for the last few years, is indeed going to be the Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government. So he will take charge of a big department that deals with...